Three, two, one. Hello, it is me, Adrian Opal, here from the Adrian Opal Empire. And before we start off the super explosive, awesome video about me talking, I just want to say that, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot my I am out sign, so don't be expecting that at the very end. Yeah, I don't have it with me. But you all will have it next time, don't you worry. But what we are talking about today is Pokemon Battle Strategies, where at least, um, how to identify what is effective against what quickly, like just easy little shortcuts to be able to tell that. First, let's start off with the starter triangle, as I like to call it. You have the fire, you have the grass, and you have the water type. So it's kind of like a little rock, paper, scissors thing. Fire is good against grass, grass is good against water, and water is good against fire. But why? Grass burns, fire burns grass. Grass absorbs water, and water extinguishes fire. So it's kind of a Neat little triangle right there. So that's kind of one of the basic things that I want to start with. So, let's talk about hard bodies now. How hard bodies work is that, say for example, a onyx or a magnemite, which an onyx is a rock type and a magnemite is an electric and steel, but let's just focus on the steel part of it. What a hard body is, is that there are a few types that are really effective against it. Say, for example, onyx is made out of rocks, and water erodes rocks, so water is really powerful against rock types. As I said, like onyx and geodude. But, the, what, but what they're not weak to, they're, what, what they are very resistant to. Say, for example, if a, you use tackle or something, a normal type move, on a rock or steel type, it won't be very effective. If you use a grass type on a steel type, it's not going to do anything. Rock type, it's a little bit different. It's like grass grows through rocks, I guess. It's kind of an odd system, but you got to kind of think about what means what. Now, let's talk about towers. What are towers exactly? Towers are stacks of types of Pokemon that are kind of more powerful than the one below it. One of the towers that I'm referring to is known as a... Of, I kind of call it the purple tower, because it kind of goes from light purple to black. So, poison is at the very bottom. So, poison is weak against psychic types. But psychic, but poison does, isn't very effective against psychic types. And then above poison, so there's poison, then psychic is more powerful than poison, then ghost is more powerful than psychic, then dark is more powerful than ghost. It kind of makes sense. The one on the bottom is more powerful than the one at the top. Next thing is called the Earth Tower. Well, it's not really much of a tower. It's more of a pyramid, but there's only three of them inside of it. So, really don't know why I called it a tower. But, at the top is ground. And then right directly below it is steel and rock, the hard bodies. Ground is powerful against the rock and steel types. Now, one of the patterns you may be noticing, or not, is that... The ones below it are weaker, don't do very good, uh, to the ones that are powerful against it. So poison isn't very powerful to psychic types. Rock types aren't very powerful against ground types, right? But then you have to remember ground and rock, not ground, sorry, steel and rock are hard bodies. Ground is not. Ground is nice and soft. Though, however, it is weak against water types, which erodes the ground, and... Grass types, which grow inside the ground and soak up its nutrients, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of this whole big elaborate thing. So, let's go back to an example, like Magnemite again. Now, let's say that you have a Magnemite out, and the opponent has a Sandshrew out. And the Sandshrew knows, say, for example, the Dig. Magnemite will actually take double effect off that, like double weakness, because not only is ground types effective against electric types, ground types are also effective against steel types. So that means that it will get a double dose of that, meaning that not only will it be super effective against it, it will be super duper effective. And you do not want that to hit your Magnemite. Switch out. Now, the final detail I want to talk to death, um, not really talk to death, I guess, but I don't even know what I'm talking right now. But, next thing I want, the final thing I want to talk about here is immunities. Certain types of attacks won't be very effective against 
say for example, like other types. So say tackle or something. I, I don't know why I'm always using tackle as a normal analogy, I guess. It's just generic. I, I don't know. But ta normal type attacks aren't very effective against ghost types. Like they can't even hurt them. It's like a something normal will just goes straight through a ghost. But ghosts aren't able to affect normal types, right? So kind of back and forth. However, there are also other things, such as fighting types can't hurt ghost types. And, for example, I forget if ghost types can hurt ground fighting types. I think that they, it can't, but I'm not entirely sure on that matter. But then, there are also, say, for example, if you're using a Pikachu and somebody sends out a Diglett. Diglett is a ground type. Ground conducts electricity. So it will go straight into the ground when you try to use it, therefore making electric type attacks useless towards them. And then also if you try using... What's the final example I was thinking about? I don't know, it's a whole chain of them. You gotta look it up. So let me just wrap up this video. I'm, uh, right now I am flashing up a little bit of a chart on the screen. You can see on here it's just of who's good against two. It's just a little bit of an image I put up there, copied it offline. But you can see, like for example, flying types are weak against electric types because they are not connected to the ground. They can't conduct the electricity, right? Or grass types are weak against poison because poison eats away at plants. Now you can look at that for a minute, um, pause the video or something, or just Google on the web what you can look at. But if you want, it's just like showing you right now. I'm closing it down now. So that's about everything I have to say. As I, you may remember, I forgot my sign, so I am out. It, it doesn't work. I wish it does. I wish it does, but it doesn't work. But yes, thank you. My name's Adrian Opel and I am out. See ya.